Hey guys, what's up? D1 here. So this is going to be a quick guide on how to set up KKS keyboards that have a light guide to work with Syntasia. Syntasia is a pretty cool app that helps you learn piano. Maybe you don't know much about piano and you want to practice or maybe you have kids and want to teach your kids easier way to learn piano. The problem with Syntasia and Native Instruments stuff is that they can't communicate with each other, so the light guide doesn't work. Fortunately, there's this guy called Oliver Jack. I think that's how you pronounce his name. If I'm butchering it, uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, he made a Python script that enables the complete control keyboards to communicate with Syntasia via MIDI mode. The thing is, on Windows, it's pretty easy, but on Macs, it requires a little bit of setup. So that's what I'm going to be covering today. So yeah, let's do it. 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 So the first thing we need to do is to install Homebrew. Just go to your browser and type in brew.sh. I'm not going to go into detail about what homebrew is. Just know that it's safe and it's okay to install. So I'm going to press command spacebar, type in terminal, launch it. I'm going to clear this just so you guys can see better. I just copy this command, paste it here. It will let me know that it's about to install. I'll press return or the enter key. It's installing right now. It's going to take a few seconds. Or maybe a little bit more if your computer is uh, old. There, it's installed. Now I'll just type brew install python 3. It's going to install python 3. In my case, I get an error because it's already installed. Don't worry about that. And we go to the uh, Syntasia Control GitHub page. And right over here, it says in order to install on a Mac, we got to use a developer method. And the developer method is, uh, sorry, is right beneath it. So we have to install a bunch of crap. We just run those commands as it says on the guide. So PIP install hid API. Boom, PIP, install, M-I-D-O, installed, PIP, install, Python, RT, MIDI. For me, it says requirement already satisfied because I already have it installed for you. It might say something else. If uh, you get some kind of permission error, just type sudo for the commands that show up here. Same goes for any command. If you get an error, just type sudo. It will ask you for your password and install all the libraries necessary for the software to work. Okay, so after we install everything that we need for the script to run, because this was originally written for Windows, it depends on a virtual driver called loopb. LoopB is pretty much an application for Windows to create virtual MIDI ports. On a Mac, we don't really need external software to create MIDI ports, but because of the way it's coded, our virtual port needs to be named LoopB. So what we're going to do is we're going to type audio MIDI setup. We're going to run that. Go to Window, Show MIDI Studio. I can minimize this. So just create a new configuration. I'm going to name mine, um, I don't know, config3. I already have a few. Double click the IAC driver. You can name it whatever you want. And over here on the ports, click the plus button, double click it, and rename it to loop B, just like that. Click the little button over here that says device online. This will activate the virtual port. Click apply. Now you can close this and you created a virtual MIDI port called loopy, which is what we need. Now we go back to the page and we are just going to download the zip. Click over here, download the zip. Go to your download folder. Double click the file just downloaded. I can delete the uh, compressed file. And now we're going to go into our terminal. Let me just clear this. 
clear. Okay. So now we type CD and we drag the folder over here, press enter, and we're gonna navigate to the folder inside terminal. So now over here on the instructions, it says, in order to run the program, we type Python Syntasia control, right? You copy that and paste it into the terminal. If it doesn't work, and it probably won't, it's because Max by default use Python 2 and the script requires Python 3. So just add a 3 after Python, press enter. It will ask you what keyboard you have. I have keyboard number 3, which is a KKS 49 MK2. So I'm just going to type 3, press enter. It connected to my keyboard and it just saw like a, the LEDs kind of light up like a light show thing. Uh, swipe from left to right. Everything is correct over here. So I can close this. Don't need this anymore. So this script runs like kind of like an application. So you have to leave it on. I'm just put it over here to the side. You can minimize it if you want to. Now I'm just going to run... Synthesia, run that, go to settings. Now for the lights to work, you have to go into over here where it says IAC driver loop B. That's the driver we created. Make sure you enable send output to this device. Uh, turn everything on. And over here where it says key lights, just press that and select finger base channel. That's gonna make the lights work. If you wanna test it, just press the test button. And as you can see, the, night, the notes are lighting up. Okay, that's great. Now we head back. Also on the music output, you gotta turn on the built-in synth so you can hear sounds when you play stuff. Yeah, I have these settings. Um, and I also set the key lights to finger base channel. I don't know if this is required or not, but this is how I have mine set up. Just copy these settings. Press pause if you need to. And on the input, I select complete control port one over here. It kind of auto detected that I have 49 keys, but just, just do this. If yours is not auto detected, I don't think this matters much. Just make sure it's enabled. So yeah. Now we can test it to see if it's working. Uh, let me, you can see here some, it's detecting notes and whatever. I'll go into play a song. I'm on the easiest mode just for uh, demo purposes. Jingle bells is pretty easy. I'm gonna click right, it's only one hand. Okay, right hand. And now it's running. As you can see, it tells me that I have to press this note and it waits for me to input the note in practice mode. So I'm gonna do this one finger, I'm sorry. Uh, bear with me here. Oops. That was terrible, I have the microphone in front of my face. But anyway, um, it works. I hope this helps anyone out there who couldn't get this to work on Mac. So yeah, go practice a bunch of songs, learn some new ones. Yeah, good luck, man. Uh, I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, right, I forgot. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and send me a check for a million dollars, please. Thank you.